Rape Culture, The Oppression of Women by B.B. Zarifa Bacchus. Facts about rape and date rape. One in three girls will be sexually assaulted in their lifetime. Sexual assault occurs the first eight weeks of college and university because of party and alcohol consumption and drugs. This is called the red zone. One in four girls will be sexually assaulted on college and university campuses between age 18 to 25. One in five women are coerced into sex by their partners. 87% of women know their attackers. Date rape leads to domestic violence as a result leads to restraining order. Definition of rape is intercourse or anal penetration against another person's will of, and it's about power and control. It's a violent act of rage, not about the sexual act. Signs of a domestic violent relationship. Possessiveness, jealousy, controlling behavior, unpredictable mood swings, personality associated with alcohol and drugs, and outburst of anger. Facts about sex in the media. Sexual intercourse has double. Sexual content is linked to sexual behavior. 20% of young adults learn about relationship and sexual health through magazines. Women are more sexualized. Male college students view sexually explicit videos are more likely to be sexually permissive and objectify women. Middle school males are exposed to music videos that are linked to rape acceptance. 2.2 billion users of the internet use the internet for sexual images among males. 50% males seek out sexual content in the media. Media exposure to sexual behavior leads to sexual activity among peers and influence sexual behavior. Stigma associated with rape. Boys will be boys. Slut shaming. Victim blaming. Dressing provocatively. Asking for it. Flirting. Leading on men. Unexpected pregnancy. Single mother or abortion. And shunning outcasts in the community or STIs. This is a graph of um, sexual media exposure in magazines to reality shows, talk shows. Psychological influences. TV, books, and magazines, and internet are all media that contains large volumes of sexual material, some extremely explicit. 16% of the characters have sex on TV are teens and young adults. However, some of the sources do provide valuable information on sex topics. This must be highly selective. This is a pyramid of the rape culture. These are examples of um, rape. This is the power wheel of control. It's physical, emotional, emotional, and sexual. How do you make an effective decision about sex? Think critically about your sexual issues. Weigh all the pros and cons that affects your choices among questions to ask the following. Is this what I really want out of a relationship? Does it fit my values? Do I, re or do I feel ready? Is this the right person, moment, or situation? Does this partner truly care about me or and not just for in what we're doing? Will it enhance my relationship or cause problems later? Do I have what I need to prevent pregnancy or exposure to S STIs? If not, you, you may be thinking about consequences and diseases and unexpected pregnancy. In the end, is it worth it? At Douglas College, they promoted this consent campaign. Consent is asking for it by the initiator, clearly and given, voluntary and uncoerced, unimpaired in conscience. Um, reputable anytime, relevant in any relationship or any circumstances. There's sexual harassment in the workplace, and there's two. One's called quid pro harassment, and the other one's called hostile environment harassment. 
quid pro is referring, referring to a request of some kind of a sexual favor or activity in, in exchange for something like something like a promotion. This can be a, bi a bribe or a threat. Hostile environment is indeed indicates that any situation where sexually charged remarks, behavior, or displays item causing discomfort. Harassment of this type can range from lewd, con lewd conversation to jokes or displaying pornography. Sexual Act Under the Canadian Criminal Code, it is defined as unlawful intercourse of any other of any other sexual penetration of the vagina, anus, or mouth of another person with or without force by a sexual organ, other body parts, or foreign objects without consent of the victim. It's against the victim's own. One facts about date rape on campus, Canadian campuses, one in five women are victims of sexual assault. One in four women of college and university between the ages of 18 to 24 would be sexually assaulted by a date or boyfriend. One in five college and university women admitted to be coerced into intercourse with their date or boyfriend. 87% of women know their attacker. There are three types of date rape drugs. GBH, GBH, Rohypnol, and Campamine. In case you get raped, there's an emergency contraception pill. Sometimes contraception pills or sexual intercourse occurs that is unplanned, forced, or rape, and an emergency contraception is needed. This is called the, the progesterone pill, and they're available at pharmacy. Under the NDP government, it is covered. They are 89% are effective as pregnancy occurs during the first 72 hours to prevent ovulation. Intimate partner. It's an aggression towards those in a close relationship with aggression. It may take forms in three forms, psychological, sexual, and physical abuse. Partner abuse often includes batter battering. Physical abuse is kicking and choking. Emotional abuse is humiliation, control, withdrawal, and money. Sexual abuse is using sex to control, manipulate, or demean someone. Incident of this consequent, incidents and consequent, men and women are victimized, although women victimized more frequently. Women are, are victims in 85% in non-fatal crimes and are the victims in 70% of the murders committed by a spouse. Women also suffer from anxiety, depression, drug use, and helplessness. Um, Characteristic of batterers, unemployed, drinking and drugs, tendency to get angry easily, attitudes that condone aggression and high stress levels. Males are exposed to violence as a child. Why do people stay in abusive relationship? Fear of economic hardship, they have nowhere to else to live. They fear guilt and shame and don't want their family or friends to know. They fear leaving will cause more trouble, abuse, or murder. Date rape, referring as force and unwanted intercourse in the context of dating. It occur it could occur in the first date, many dates, or even between engaged couples. Force use typically is verbal, physical coercion may include incident and consequences. Most victims are raped by someone they know, raped by someone they trusted to a particular situation. Contributing factors, drug and alcohol, the date rape drug, gender differences is standard, and miscommunication about 
whether the woman wants consent to sex or not. Men are more likely to be impulsive, low to empathy, and hostile towards women. They have they are heavy drinkers. They endorse the traditional male stereotype about male dominance. They have more consensual sex than their mates, and they lack poor management skills. Situation factors are increased to date rate. The man knows the woman, they're in an isolated setting. They have more consensual, consensual sexual activity. The man has misinterpreted the woman's interest in sex. To protect yourself from this situation, be aware of excessive alcohol drug use, which can undermine self-control in sexual interactions. Do not drink. Do not leave drink unattended. When dating someone new, avoid private places. Watch out for your friends and clearly communicate your feelings and expectations about sexual activity. So now that we covered this date rate workshop, here are some critical analysis questions. What mixed messages are you getting about sex? What mixed message of women getting about sex? What mixed messages are men getting about sex? What is oppression? What did you learn in sex education? Is there such thing as safe sex? Do you think about the repercussions of sex? What is rape culture? What is consent? Why do people think consent is a confusing topic? What is rape? What is date rape? And what are the date rape drugs? Thank you for your time.